Now to the contentious one. Um, I was visiting my brother in February 2002 and we, uh, we watched, if you watched my previous Barcelona video, we watched Barcelona play La Coruña, uh, I think we watched Spain play Portugal uh, then and they had also this great exhibition about soccer um, on March week. We of course could buy jerseys and I'm sorry to say I bought this one in Barcelona the centenary Real Madrid jersey uh, in black. Why in black? Yeah, because I had already this white one. Uh, and, and to some extent the black one actually looks better. And I absolutely love this one. I like to wear this one. I love to wear this one a lot. Again, uh, my like for Real Madrid went really down over the years um, but at this time they had Zidane they had the Galactico team and then they had the centenary uh, season and Adidas issues a sponsorless version without three stripes and this classic nice looking color this is basically the ideal for me and even the Real Madrid crest doesn't look out of the way uh, out of sorts here you just the only type of branding was the Adidas. Um, it has some uh, ventilation on the side. I don't know if you can make it out. You can actually see that the fabric changes a little bit. The center has no ventilation, I mean, I have a little, little, little bit holes. It, it seems like a stripe. But I, I like the starkness, the blackness of this one. It was only worn in the league, it was not worn in Champions League. In Champions League, they had it with stripes. And so, a similar version was. No, it was not. It was probably worn in Old Trafford. I think this season they won in Old Trafford as well. 3 2, I want to say. Um, but I'm getting my facts mis mi mixed up. Uh, it also, of course, has the Centenary logo, which I never thought was that great. But yeah, Real Madrid 1902, 2002, and of course the La Liga logo. Um, Part of me wants to have the white version of this one too. Um, part of me wants to have a few Barcelona and other league shirts prior to that. I have to say the two Real Madrid jerseys I own are great. They are really great jerseys and I absolutely love them. Um, what I don't like is the fact that maybe at the time it was okay, but I never it was never that I was so much more for Madrid than for Barcelona. There was a time I was a little bit more in favor of Madrid, but it always felt odd to me. And this was always the dark spot in my collection that I have more Madrid than Barcelona jerseys. There needed to be somewhat an equalizer, but yeah. Um, it was not a big task, but I always thought it's kind of a little bit wrong that I have two Madrid jerseys and only one Barcelona jersey at that time. And especially that I got this in Barcelona. but. It's awesome. It is friggin' awesome, this one. Uh, of the two, I would wear this more. Um, also, that year in May, uh, my brother and I went to Madrid when they played the Champions League final against uh, Bayer Leverkusen there. Um, we had to actually buy the accommodations before the return. It was the semi-final Real Madrid against Barcelona. And Barcelona lost the first game 2-0 at home. And then I think I played a 1-1 in Madrid and actually had chances to even that. But um, that was the big discussion. Shall we get the hotel or not? And it was kind of, you know, this is the last room and this is really in our category. Uh, in Barcelona, I could live with my brother, of course. And we had this discussion that I said, Florian, I really want to get the hotel room. I don't want to get stuck in Madrid. We can, uh, the flight I can get, uh, no. I, I was flying to two I was flying home from Barcelona back then. But you know, it was kind of, I had to book everything, um, but we didn't know the result of the game. And I had to book it on, on the day of the game. And I didn't tell my brother then, Florian, if you're watching right now, I bought the hotel room. I didn't believe in Barcelona, I'm sorry. It just, everything pointed that Real Madrid will win this one. We have to watch the Champions League final in Madrid, not the Champions League final in Barcelona. I know. Back then, it would uh, it would have sucked, and I probably would have can not necessarily cancelled. I would have just taken the loss. 
but yeah we watched the final in madrid went to celebrate and yeah we went for i uh, went first with the white jersey uh to, to the sibeles and then the next day i was wearing of course the black jersey i still like this one as much as i like this white one which has a very nice look to it this one i like better and yeah i would like to have the white version of this one too um i also like that just look at the tag that's the real madrid logo email on the tag which doesn't happen too often these days any, any, anymore. I like the plainness. This is an everyday shirt. Like you can, it's an everyday. It doesn't look like a soccer jersey. Unsponsored. Uh, Barcelona back then was also unsponsored. And yeah, this was one of the things why I didn't get a Barcelona jersey once I could afford it because either there was a sponsor on it. Uh, with UNICEF, it would have been maybe a little bit better. But you know, the, that was a time that I saw a few times thought about getting one. But yeah, like with Roma, there were always other jerseys that I wanted to get more into, usually World Cup jerseys or Milan jerseys or Lask jerseys. Yep. My Black Real Madrid. Uh, again, I have not worn it for a long time, but I love it. I think the last time I wore it was in 2014 after they won the Champions League back then under Ancelotti. Okay, let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. A lot of memorizing and almost apologizing. I shouldn't apologize for having this shirt. It's a great shirt, absolutely a great shirt. And yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.